Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to episode 5 of One Hour a Day, man, where we only play the game for about one hour a day, man. In the last episode, we did some quests and some skilling. We got 30 fire making, we got 24 fishing, and we got 20 thieving. Now in this episode, I was going to do Plague City, but then I remembered I didn't have any of the stuff for Plague City. So what I'm gonna do instead is do Monk's Friend, which is also a pretty cool quest. It gives you a lot of XP and wood cutting, which you can definitely use, and it gives you eight law runes, meaning that if we just get seven more magic levels, we can start teleporting to Varrock, which is a lot better than having to walk back and forth because my Chronicle is out of teleports. But here we are at the start of the quest, and I guess I'll see you at the end of it. Here we are, guys, at the end of the quest. We got eight law runes, actually. That's nice. And we're about to have a party. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, let's boogie. Oh, baby. This is like the most fun ending to a quest in the game. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> there we go 8k uh, that's level 13 woodcutting oh yeah like i said i have a more i think a more efficient route in mind now now i'm gonna do rune mysteries which requires us to go to lumbridge using our home teleport and then i can just go to varrock next step in this quest requires us to go to the wizard's tower which is south of draenor village so, while I'm in Draenor Village, I can now restock on Chronicle Charges. See? And then we have a teleport to Varrock again. I think this was the more efficient way to do things. So I'm actually kind of proud of myself that I managed to figure this out on my own here. There we go, guys. Rune Mysteries is completed. Let's go. Now, let's start working on the diary since we're here as well, right? Let's start working on it right away. We have to sell to the silk salesman. Sell to the silk salesman. Jesus Christ. But to do that, we have to steal from him and then wait for one hour. So, yeah, that's not going to happen today. Absolutely, that's an easy diary task for the Ardoin easy one. As you can see, now we have two out of 42. And we also obviously thieved the silk, which we can sell back to him in about 60 minutes, I think. Maybe it's sooner, but I'm not sure about that. We are on our way to finish this quest up. Let's go. This quest was really short. Once again, I, I keep forgetting how quickly you can do these quests when you know what you're doing. Because the first time you're doing these, my god, these take forever. But once we talk to Edmund here, there we go. So we got the teleport scroll, which is the most important thing. Oh, 18 mining. I'm sorry. We got 18 mining there. So yeah. That's nice. <laughs> On to the next one. You know what? I, I was thinking, why not just do biohazard as well? Then we are completely in the clear to do the diary. After this, every prerequisite is done. We can just try to finish the Ardoin easy diary and get that beautiful cape that everyone craves for in the beginning. You know, another thing I can do here, this is actually pretty risky because we can lose every single thing we have, but I'm just going to do it. Um, if we get killed, yeah, sure. Then we're just dead, I guess. But this is an easy task. I, I think. Yeah, it is. There we go. That was it. And we're back. Okay, so I just remembered something here. We can take a boat to Remington from here for 30 GP. We have 31. Now, <laughs> that's insane. We are, our entire cash stack 
is going to go down to one single coin. We are going to be poorer than we were the first second we set foot in Gilenor. But you know what? <laughs> we can build this back up. You know, this is fine. This is all fine. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christmas. I've d I don't think I've ever been this poor in RuneScape before. But like I said, it's for a good cause. And we can do it. Let's go. We can do this. There we go. We told Elena it was a hoax. And we told the king it was a hoax. And we get some thieving XP. And we get access to the combat training camp, which is where we need to go to complete one of the diary tasks. So give a round of applause to yourself, because we just completed the last prerequisite for this Ardoin diary. No. I'm not doing the next... Oh, level 22, by the way. I'm not doing the next steps in the Elvish quest line just yet. Trust me. They all suck. They're like the worst ones in the game. Big pockets. Oh, I had one. First, first big pocket. Nice. That's perfect. Here we go, guys. I just used my ring of dueling that I still had to teleport to Castle War. So we at least could make it to Yanil and do the one step here that we can do. Which is, I think, checking a store, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Yeah, Alex Hunter Emporium. Okay, I think that's this one right here. So once we check that, we will have only two tasks left. They're both at the fishing trawler, which is close to here. Let's see, is this it? Yep, there we go. We only have two tasks left, but I don't have the time for it. As you can see, we're at one hour and two minutes, but the first two minutes I don't move. I just have set up everything for recording. So my recording is actually up to 59, 32. There we go. <laughs> so tomorrow we're going to do these two steps, get ourselves the cape. And then I'm not too sure, actually. We'll see. I still have to finish Gertrude's cat, actually, which is just talking to Gertrude. But that's all for tomorrow. This was one hour a day, man. Because we only played the game for about one hour a day, man. Bye-bye, guys.